Hey guys, this is Marie. She does it all, a little bit of everything. I just want to cover this, when to take profit. When to take profit, to me, it depends on the situation, seriously. How much do you need to profit? How much the profit is, in my opinion, not financial advice. Because I was thinking, a week and a half ago, I tried to do some kind of experiment to see if I were to sell 10 billion tonic tectonic, how much they would have given me. And you know, crypto.com take a lot of tax. So of course that kind of affect the whole thing. So what I, what I did when I saw they were going to give me $1,500 or 1,500 for 10 billion after they take their tax, I realized it's not worth it. And a lot of people took profit. A lot of people were happy. But a day later, after the retracement, the cooler, of, it went back up. The same $10 billion would have cost, would have, I would have been able to collect at least two grand. Right now, it's way more. So at the end of the day, you have to look at the situation and say, what am I going to do with that $2,000? You know? Some people spent. 500, 1,000, they say double to 1,000 or 2,000. They say, okay, let me get my initial investment out. Whatever stays is the house money. You're playing with the house money, which is great, which is amazing. But at the same time, have you ever thought about, oh my God, if I had left it a little longer, what would have happened? That $1,000 that I have in my hand right now, could it become 10,000, 100,000? This is how I see it for myself, not financial advice. I will be taking money that I know for sure I can pay something with. Let's say pay for my car, pay for my house, which I don't have one right now. I would love to. What am I going to do with that profit that I take from my investment? It's always good to be in the safe side, but at the same time, does it worth it taking $1,500 out when it could have been, you know, 2000 you lose 500. Same thing happened to me with Terra Luna Classic. Terra Luna Classic, I covered it a lot in the beginning. And I see I lost a lot of a lot of viewers because I stopped covering Terra Luna Classic. But you know what? If I lose viewers because I'm telling you the truth, I'm not going to put clickbait to get your attention, to come lie to you. That's fine with me. Anything that I put out there, it's from my heart. It's my honest truth. I am not going to give you hope that's not there, period. I'm serious. I am not going to tell you, Terra Luna Classic going to get to $1 because at the end of the day, it's not. I used to watch Crypto King, Sassy Crypto, Matthew Perry. I still watch Matthew Perry because he has some good things going. But I don't watch Crypto King anymore, Sassy Crypto. A lot of people that I see that pumping the coin, that really pumping it because they put a lot of money in it. And they want the coin to go to a certain level, although they know there was a lot missing. When I looked at Terra Luna Classic, I had 15 million. I sold 14 million and I put almost of it. I think I put it in Tonic Tectonic. Why I did that? Because I realized a lot of the stuff that was putting out there is to pump in the coins, you know, but there were no essence. There were nothing there to support what they were saying. I know Matthew Perry put $40 and he gets so many of it when it was down and he gets so much money out of it, 6,000 something dollar. And he would love to see it get to millions. So he has a story to say, to tell. That's not enough for me to invest in something. Sassy Crypto, uh, Crypto King, they all have a story. Pumping, pumping, 50 cents, a penny, a dollar. That's not enough for me. Yes, you get views, but at the end of the day, some of the people are going to be like, wait, why are you pumping it and it's not going anywhere, you know? So, yes, I have some people disappeared from my channel. That's okay. That's fine with me. If you come here, you come here to hear the truth. And if I made a mistake, I am a big girl enough to go back and say that was a mistake. I corrected and we're going to move on. And I don't only cover crypto. I cover different topics, different subjects that I think that might be, you know, good to you. And some people don't watch the news, period. So they don't really know what's going on. So 
my job is to bring a little bit of everything just like it says crypto marie she does it all a little bit of everything so again when to take profit me when i try to do the math on all the money that i spend for tonic tectonic i realize i might have spent at least seven thousand dollar all together for the time that i've been buying when it was low up down the combination is like seven thousand dollar and i have a good 50 billion plus you know and i said to myself right now i see there was profit there but if i take two thousand dollar three thousand dollar profit seriously guys what can i do with that you know I'm not going to even be able to finish paying my car or put a down payment for a house. This is my goal. You got to know why you invest in something, you know, why. And when, when it comes to the guy that spent $8,000 and she buy, you know, and later on when she buy, you know, explode, he made $5.7 billion. You have to realize and say, damn, how long did this man wait or this person wait to get $5.7 billion? I'm not saying I'm going to wait for that, but I need that sacrifice that I made to pay off. I need to be able to live in a house and say, you know what? Because I hold on tight. I had diamond hand. This is where I live now. This is what I was able to purchase with that money, you know? And I know I made a video once that says diamond hand has a limit, but it has not gotten into my limit yet. Seriously. I am going to hold on tight until further notice because I spend that kind of money, $7,000, almost 8000 on tonic tectonic to have that many that I have now. And for me to get two, $3,000 profit, it's just not worth it for me. So I'm going to wait to see where it's going to take me. And again, I call it my retirement plan, my retirement token, my, my, my retirement coins, because if it was three to four zeros, let's say they listed in Coinbase and Binance and Robinhood and it lose three to four zeros, we could get to Shiba Inu money, yeah? You have to think positive. So when you try to get the little two, three hundred dollar profit now, with all the respect, I don't know your situation. What can you do with that? Another thing I realized, I made a mistake. I saw something for my portfolio from um from crypto.com i meant to sell a certain amount but by mistake i sold double than what i was supposed to sell to put in and of course other coins and what happened is i said oh man okay the mystic already made but if i were to go right back to buy that armor it will cost me 200 dollar more do you see where it's not worth it when you take profit because even though you try to go back to buy it will cost you more than what you just sold it for so again what i did i probably make a video on that i don't want to make it because i made a lot of those videos and i don't want people to think i am giving them advice i do what's worked for me seriously what's worked for me Okay, I'm going to try to close this one out. Probably I make a video on it. It's not for you to do what I do. But at the end of the day, I thought it was worth it. And I'm going to tell you what it was. So anyhow, to take profit, you have to realize your situation. Do you need it to pay your bills? Because that guy from Dogecoin, when he get out of Dogecoin, he sold his Dogecoin thinking it was not going to worth anything. He bought a Doge, uh, some kind of Doge car, a little, a little car. Thinking about purchasing he made with that little revenue he made with that uh, per, a Doge, if he had left his Doge, he would have become a millionaire right now. That's why he's so sour. He's so angry with, um, with the Doge people now because he could have been a millionaire. But he sold it to buy a little car. Is it worth it at the end of the day? In my situation, I will hold on to my tonic. I will hold on into my Elon and Shiba Inu until further notice. Because if I'm selling, I want to make sure I no longer have to work. 
I no longer have to struggle paycheck to paycheck. It has to be a good sum of money. And I realized another thing. Trying to buy tonic right now, they have a restriction on it. How much you can buy, how much you can sell. That's a problem, yeah. That's a problem. Tonic and all the coins right now. If the coin is doing well, crypto.com have a limit on it. And that's a problem. Again, think about the situation before you sell to get a little profit. I know on YouTube, the YouTubers are saying, now it's time to get profit. Take profit. But you have to have your own mind, your own common sense. What are you going to do with that little $1,000? Is it worth it taking $1,000 that if he had left it, it would have been $2,000, it would have been $10,000, $100,000? Think about down the road what that $1,000 could become before you take your profit. Again, it's, not, it's never a bad thing to take profit. But in my situation, I have to think about it. What I am going to do with that $1,000, $5,000? Is this going to change my life financially? No. So that's why I said taking profit has a limit. Taking profit has to be thinking, is this the right thing to do? You know, again, let me know how you feel. Did you take profit too early or too late? Because I remember I did not take profit from Shiba Inu, $100,000. I lost it all. I regret that. From AMC, from um, Doge, I lost it all. And I realized, oh my God, I have to start taking profit. It was hard for me. It was heartbreaking. My heart beating fast. But again, when I took profit from Terra Luna uh, Classic, I took it too early. So at the end of the day, you have to manage your situation. You have to manage. Why are you taking it? Are you taking it to put in a better coin? Are you taking it to take care of something, pay your rent, eat? I don't know. Let me know how you feel about this one. When to take profit? Is it worth it to take profit? I don't know. You let me know. Crypto Marie, she does it a, a little bit of everything. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you all. Thank you. Let's make this to 1,000 subscribers. 5,000, 10,000, half of a million. For sure, I'm going to be doing this full time. Thank you, guys. Take care.